Hello friends, welcome back to Simply Study. In this video, I will explain you the solution of basic electronics paper of GTU of November 2018. The topics which are asked in the paper are very important and instead of just reading the solution, you can find a video solution of your GTU papers over here. You can also download the GTU question paper and the solution in a PDF from the link mentioned below. So let's start with the first question. Question 1 is a compulsory question. Question 1a states, explain VI characteristic of tunnel diode. This question is for 3 marks. So let's first see what a tunnel diode is. A tunnel diode is a PN junction semiconductor diode that has negative resistance due to quantum mechanical effect called tunneling. The tunnel diode have a very heavily doped PN junction. Tunnel diode shows a negative resistance in their operating range and hence they are widely used in amplifier, oscillators and in any other switching circuits. This is the symbol of a tunnel diode. The VI characteristic of a tunnel diode looks like this. Let's now understand how did we get this graph. So as you can see here, as the forward voltage increases, the forward current also increases till a peak point named as A in this graph. After this point from A to B, this is the area of negative resistance meaning as the forward voltage increases, the forward current decreases. From point A to B, voltage increases and the current decreases. After the point B, the diode behaves as a normal diode and hence with the increase in voltage, the forward current also increases. Here, the value point VV or B is approximately 0.7 volts and after 0.7 volts, the diode behaves as a conventional diode. Okay, so let's start with question 1B. The question is, what is in a breakdown? What is avalanche breakdown? Compare both type of breakdown. This question is for 4 marks. So let's see what a Zener breakdown is. We know that there are free electrons and holes in a PN junction diode. In the reverse bias, there is a flow of minority charge carriers. And if the reverse current is increased further, then the flow of minority charge carriers increases even more. The phenomena of breakdown is as explained in this flowchart. When the diode is heavily doped, the depletion region becomes narrow. Electric field at the depletion region becomes high and the valence electron gets out of the orbit. And due to this, a lot of reverse current flows through the circuit and the breakdown occurs. When the breakdown voltage is less than 4 volts, it is called Zener effect. And when the breakdown effect is greater than 6 volts, it is called avalanche effect. And between 4 volt and 6 volt, we can see both the effects occur. In a Zener diode, in the reverse bias condition, when the reverse current increases, the re voltage remains constant till a point known as breakdown voltage of a Zener diode. Zener breakdown occurs in heavily doped junctions of PN junction semiconductor and hence they have a narrow depletion region. In avalanche breakdown, in the reverse bias, the electrons move towards the positive terminal of the battery. At large reverse voltages, the electrons acquire high enough velocity to dislodge valence electrons from the semiconductor atom. And hence, lot of electrons start flowing in the reverse bias. And hence, a lot of current. The avalanche breakdown occurs in lightly doped junctions which produce a wider depletion layer. Let us now finally see the comparison between avalanche breakdown and Zener breakdown. So avalanche breakdown occurs in lightly doped junctions whereas Zener breakdown occurs in heavily doped junctions. Avalanche breakdown has a wider depletion region whereas Zener breakdown it has a narrow depletion region. Avalanche effect occurs when the breakdown voltage is greater than 6 volts and Zener effect occurs when the breakdown voltage is less than 4 volts. Question 1c is Write a short note on VI characteristic of a PN junction diode. You can find a detailed explanation of PN junction diode in the link provided above. 
the solution of other questions of this paper and many other papers are available on this channel and they are uploaded periodically so please keep checking them out thank you for watching simply study signing off